What's up, Warriors? You got d here on the August edition of Patreon Music Reaction Videos. This month's first request, and actually only request so far, comes to me from Rick Mercer. Hi, Rick. Who wanted me to kind of do a two-part reaction. He wanted me to react to a segment that Home Free used to do in their concerts called Storytime with Tim. Tim Faust, of course, the bass singer in the acapella group. I've reacted to, I think, a couple story times so far over on YouTube. I kind of have seen this one floating around there, but I didn't know what it was about. And Rick wanted me to check this one out. And then he told me I needed to check out right after, uh, I guess, their performance of Ring of Fire that has a surprise ending. So if you know me, I usually try to look up some information about the songs or whatever it is that I'm reacting to. The only thing that I'm curious about, um, about the story time is that it references Westboro Baptist Church, who is a very controversial organization. I don't know everything about them, but I know that they are, I don't know what the best word for me to say without it doesn't matter. It's my Patreon. They're fucked up. They just are. I just have no clue what in the world Tim's story would even have to do with this place, this organization, because I refuse to call them a church. So yeah, my curiosity is piqued in that. Also, Ring of Fire, I actually did a reaction to that when they sang with Avi, who is formerly of Pentatonix. If you want to check that video out, I will probably have some sort of card in this area that you can click on and have a look at that reaction. Well, I'm going to go trekking into the unknown. First, I'll be reacting to the story time with Tim. I guess this is about Westboro Baptist Church from a concert on May 6th, 2016, and I will follow that up with their performance of Ring of Fire. Well, kids. See, this is the very talent of our spring tour, and this is one of the first places where it's actually spring. <laughs> I don't know. Big moment right now. He never gives props to Minnesota weather. I'm gonna <laughs> this then, then you should realize what a dire situation our country is in. <laughs> if I'm complimenting Minnesota's weather. We were in uh, Milwaukee yesterday. Woo! Don't. <laughs> spicy today. Our second to last stop on the Donut Feel Good Tour. And I was like, no, it don't. <laughs> when we got there, we went there a day before the show. <laughs> Mistake. It was 40 degrees. Which is like beyond what the In world. May. <laughs> yeah, or as Austin I call it, winter. <laughs> so anyway, thank you for not being Wisconsin. What's that, Toy Story? <laughs> <laughs> See, y'all think the 
such an insult. <laughs> the homie loves it. I think it's adorable. <laughs> Somebody bring me a beer before I get too salty up here. <laughs> Alright, and now for the story. Now some of you have probably heard this already. I know a lot of you tend to watch our shows on YouTube, and a lot of you have already seen several of our shows on this tour. And thank you so much for that. But I hope you're not tired of telling this story because I'm going to tell it forever. It does not ever get old. <laughs> this is something else that has made me feel good, and it occurred in Topeka, Kansas, of all places. <laughs> you see, we actually had to cancel our show in Topeka, and luckily we were able to just postpone it a few days, and I had no idea how well worth the wait it was. <laughs> I think those are the folks that already know this story. <laughs> Everybody else seems really nervous. <laughs> Fear not, friends. Now, you know, we, we went on the sing-off a few years back, which was mentioned earlier. And even once we had won, we knew that we, had, we were going to have to work our butts off to remain relevant. You know, in this ADD culture that we live in these days. <laughs> That's just the fact of the matter. And, and you know, we release videos here and there, and we release CD cells, and they're, they're all little barometers as to how we're doing, how relevant we are. But finally something happened that quelled all of my fears. As a matter of fact, a lot of young folks ask us, what does it feel like to be famous? And we've always said, we'll let you know when it happens. <laughs> and it happened. <laughs> In Topeka. <laughs> now to be fair, we've had a pretty incredible year. Let's recap it. We don't want to discount any steps along the way. We debuted at the Grand Ole Opry. We collaborated, as we mentioned, with the Oak Ridge Boys, Charlie Daniels, Kenny Rogers. We sold out four shows in St. Cloud. Who you want to 
kiss. It's none of my business. I personally prefer ladies, but I'd kiss a dude to piss them off. Before I go on to the next one, um, first of all, I never noticed in the other, well, the other two uh, story times that I reacted to, I never noticed that Adam does like background noise, percussion noise. Does he do that all the time for these story times? I guess I, I just was oblivious to it, but I mean, it's pretty cool that he does that. The guy's probably super tired, though, because I figured they would use this, you know, the guys would use this sort of as a break. I mean, unfortunately, Tim wasn't getting a break, but the others, I assumed, would use that time as a break from, you know, singing to get their voices back. As far as Westboro Baptist Church, they are not a church. I kind of looked them up on Wikipedia just a little I've heard of them before, but I just wanted to be sure before doing a video and, you know, I wanted to know what I was about to hear and see. But these people, that's more of like a cult, a hate group cult, if you want to go there. I don't know, but it sucks that they decided to like target Home Free for whatever reason, but as Tim said, or... Austin I can't remember which one but apparently you are relevant when these guys decide to protest against you if that's a part of fame I don't know if I ever want to see it so now I'm going to move on to I guess the second part of Rick's request I can only imagine what this is about because it's titled ring of fire kiss and if it has anything to do with what Tim just said, I digress. going to happen. I gotta admit, and I'm pretty sure 
any female that probably was there and who has, you know, since watched this video, um, could probably admit as well. That kind of turned me on a bit. The only thing that I'm sad about is that Tim didn't kiss Austin. I don't know what I would have done if I would have seen something like that. I just, I would just go home. I think I would just walk out the car and just call it a night. Sorry guys, that was fun. Fun and funny. I must say I enjoyed that. I love the big old F U to Westboro uh, Baptist Church, whatever they're called. I like that Tim did that. So shout out real quick to Heidi Rancor. I know that she doesn't post her videos, you know, for stupid little small YouTubers like me to just, you know, pirate, but I do appreciate the uh, footage and how well it's done. I appreciate that she puts her concert experiences up online for me to react to. So thank you so much, Heidi. Hey, editing d -Lynn here. I almost forgot the Ring of Fire kiss video. I wanted to shout out um, that creator, uh, Bass Sled Team. Thank you also for your video footage of this concert too. Thank you, Rick, for suggesting I react to those. They were very funny and gave me a chuckle and also turned me on. And I've never been able to say those two things in the same sitting, so wow. I don't know if anyone else is going to be watching this, but I hope you enjoyed this reaction. Thank you for being a patron because that is the way that you would be able to see these. And I will see you in my next reaction here on Patreon. Bye!